Hi everyone, uh, Chad here with a, another Final Editions, Final Editions number 16 I believe, having to adjust my camera there. Um, just wanted to uh, get on here real quick and make a video. I've only got a few things to show as far as final purchases, just uh, had the opportunity to make a video and wanted to while I had the chance. Uh, as I said in my last video, I'm going to try to start uploading a lot more than I have been recently and uh, although I don't have a lot to show, I did want to drop in and say hi and show you what I did have. Um, as far as the VC goes, uh, it's good to see Nathan Morales back. I watched your video. That was really cool. Roger, good to see Roger back. Uh, good to see Fred's last few videos. A lot of the people I watch have uh, made videos this week, so it's been a really good week in the VC for me as far as watching some good stuff. Um, it's playing in the background right now. Yola Tango and Nothing Turned Itself Inside Out. Uh, one of my favorite Yola Tango albums for sure. Very, very uh, underappreciated in their discography. This is from year 2000 on Matador. Drinking water. Um, things have been things have been good. I, I say that, but it's been an incredibly stressful weekend as far as uh, having some issues with our family dog, and uh, I think I think it's all worked out. But he he's we've had some issues with him to where we had our, our first child, and he's just so jealous of our son, and he's just. It, they're just not getting along well, and uh, we think we figured out a way to keep them separated until our son gets a little bit bigger, and uh, maybe they'll be friends then. And it's very tough. I'm very, very attached to to animals and to, to our dog. And, uh, they're really dogs. Really are. They can be a family member. It sounds so silly saying that, but it's we contemplated possibly trying to find them a new home, and it was just. It was just too uh, too much, so I think we've got this plan. It's been very stressful, but other than that, things have been good. It's kind of a bit of a ramble there, but I've uh, been doing a lot of painting lately, um, painting collage work, and thought I would show you a couple of the pieces I've done recently. And the text, of course, is going to be backwards. Uh, that says PCP. Backwards, not backwards on the painting. Um, yeah, so did this one the other day. And let's see here. This one as well. I've been really on a creative kick here lately. Bill Murray. So again, imagine it imagine it backwards. Um, it says Thug Life on it. So yeah, I've been doing 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 some creative stuff like that. Also, um, had a couple, they're actually still wet, had a couple of books to recommend, and I promise we'll get to the Bible in just a second. Uh, just two books, real quick. This is called The Splendid Things We Planned. This is by Blake Bailey. This is a memoir about Blake Bailey's life, who apparently is a historian that uh, I've never read any of his historical accounts, but this was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. Actually brought me to tears. It's called The Splendid Things We Planned, just about this family's life and his, specifically his relationship with his brother. Uh, a funny book, sort of like a very, very dark, occasionally funny David Sedaris or Augustine Burroughs, that type of uh, messed up family life, but much, much darker. But uh, highly recommend that. And this is called Wave by Sonley Darangala. I can't say that name. It's called Wave. That's the name of the book. This is about a uh, woman who lost, in Sri Lanka, who lost her mother, father, husband, and two children in the wave. And she had, she was with them, but somehow she survived and they didn't. And just all she went through, extremely depressing, nothing to do with music. But I do want to sometimes like to talk about books and culture on here besides vinyl. But highly recommended, short, short book, uh, but, but a very uplifting tale. So wave. So let's get to the vinyl. I've got five records to show you. This first one, uh, this is a 2014 LP, Cloud Nothings, Here and Nowhere Else. This is on Mom and Pop. This came out this week. Uh, the follow-up to Cloud Nothings, last LP, 2000, I want to say 2012, 
Attack on Memory. Uh, really love that record, but I think I like this one even better. It was very dark, um, noisy, fast, breakneck. Uh, I want to say punk rock, but it's it's like power punk, pop punk. Uh, just so good. The guy can write a hook, but it's still... I, I'm a big fan of when noisy, really noisy music can still be you know, accessible to pop music, but still really, really noisy. Uh, sounds sort of like Sonic Youth playing a punk song. A really catchy song. Um, this is just the Black Bottle version. I was kind of bummed out when I went to the record store because there was a light blue version that I thought this would be, and it came out. And it was just a solid black, but it sounds it sounds really good. Uh, they did it did come with a sticker, which is the album cover, and a slip mask. So that was kind of cool. That kind of made up for it not being the light blue version. But if you're into stuff like Japan Droids or Titus Andronicus, or any of these new new punk bands, I would definitely check out Cloud Nothings. You're probably familiar with them from their last album, Steve Albini produced, so it's got a little bit of acclaim. This is another 2014 LP from March, Future Island Singles. I've been a, I've been a big Future Islands fan. I got in early on this shit. I really did. Uh, I've been a big Future Islands fan for a while. And they've recently gotten a lot of acclaim due to a performance on David Letterman's show, the song Seasons. It's sort of become an internet uh, craze, internet sensation, because the front man is this really sort of not your typical looking, good looking front man, and he's just going for it as far as dancing goes. You should definitely check it out. The video, it's a, it's a fantastic performance. This is a fantastic LP. This is definitely Future Island's best LP to date. It's on 4AD. Uh, specifically, the vocals are just incredible because the guy sounds not unlike Tom Waits sometimes, but he's, he's doing stuff with his register where he's going higher. But also, there's one song where it's straight up like black metal, death metal vocals. So just, you know, there they are. In a, in a nutshell, the range of vocal capabilities that uh, the singer is able to pull off is just is really quite an achievement uh, they're from baltimore uh via north carolina i believe and uh this is really like i said this is their best lp it's very very good there's some songs that are a bit underwhelming and uh, the instrumentation sometimes doesn't necessarily match up to the the amazingness of the of, of the vocals so but all in all an extremely Extremely solid LP that I, I would recommend if you're into power pop, um, synth pop, dream pop, anything like that. You would probably really enjoy this. Future Islands singles on the 4AD label. These next ones are older albums. Um, finally got a copy of this. Jimi Hendrix. This is Electric Ladyland. Double LP, of course been shown many 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 times in the VC I just did not have this sometimes we take for granted showing stuff like this because it's been shown so many times but I don't have everything you know I don't have didn't have this there's stuff like I don't actually don't have a copy of London Calling on vinyl uh, there's pivotal albums that I don't have but when I see a good clean used copy uh, I, I definitely want to fill in the holes so to speak this was a eight dollars jackets you know uh, a little under VG, it's kind of beaten, but plays great, sounds amazing, and uh, definitely wanted to have this for my Hendrix collection. This is obviously sounds silly even saying because it's Jimmy Hendrix, but this is a phenomenal album. Uh, really, probably maybe my favorite. I was, I think this probably is my favorite Hendrix album. So yeah, I got that. A good clean, cheap used copy there. These next two are from the Dollar Bin. Got these last night. The Jeff Lorber Fusion. This is Water Sign. I have not spun this yet and don't know anything about it, but I have a, a rule about buying, buying, uh, blind buying, and uh, I'll share it with you, and uh, perhaps it'll help you. I, I can't remember, it was on some video, and this, this, this DJ was giving tips on how to buy, to blind buy. And he said, if you see all white people on the cover, 
uh, it's suspect. It's, pr it's probably not going to be all that good. If you see all black people on the cover, and, and they're dressed in funky clothes, you should probably buy it. If you see white and black people together on the cover, they probably came together to do something pretty cool. So it's worth buying. And especially if you see like a white person, a black person, and like a Chinese person or a Mexican person, you definitely, that's a must, because they well, they would not have gotten together unless it was something really, really cool to do. So uh, with that logic, I saw uh, two black people and one white person in a band that's called the Jeff Lorber Fusion uh, Water Sign. I don't know if Water Sign is the name. Yeah, I guess that's it, yeah. Uh, this does have, looking a little bit deeper though, in all seriousness, it does have Freddie Hubbard on it. Um, so this is from, this is on, from 1979 on, I want to say, Arista Records. So I haven't given it a spin yet. If you're familiar with the Jeff Lorber Fusion, let me know what you think of them. Um, also, the guy said if you see a person playing an organ on the cover, you always buy it. Always. When you're blind buying. So, anyway. And then lastly, uh, this was out of the dollar bin on ECM, the Pat Metheny Group. This is just the self-titled Pat Metheny Group. Uh, this is from 1978. I spun this last night. Um, not, not my favorite ECM release uh, by far, but when I see ECM for 50 cents or a dollar, I just buy it. I don't really care what it is. So, anyway, um, there you have it. Not a huge update, but, uh, did want to say hi. Hope you're doing well. Spring is here. Record Store Day is coming up. And, uh, share, share a couple of paintings, a couple of books, and the, the few records I bought this week. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed, and uh, leave me a comment. Hope you're doing well.